All right, welcome back to another episode. And as you can see here, I have let these plants, or I should say plant, grow quite a bit. Um, I decided what I wanted to do was wait a while uh, before I restarted the experiment. Uh, I wanted to grow this plant out just to see what would happen uh, and also to see what would happen to the other plant on the left side. Uh, what I, my plan here is to actually use clones from this plant and the seeds from the tomatoes that are growing. Um, so I want to talk a little bit, just a little bit about uh, kind of what was what's going on here. I have not tied these up in any kind of way. I'm just letting them do what they do, uh, just to kind of see what happens. So I know kind of what to expect when I go to redo this uh, when the plants get larger. Although I am probably going to be trimming them when they uh, when I restart the experiment. Uh, I just wanted to kind of see what was what would happen, how big they would grow, how much I would have to do uh, later on. So, anyways. Most of what you're seeing here, all of this, it's all pretty much one plant growing from the right side. A while ago, uh, if you haven't been following along, uh, I was told to switch the plants when they were having problems because of the uh, fungal disease or what, whatever was going on with them to see if it would improve if I've changed the one plant over to the other side and one to the other uh, because the max bloom light here puts out uh, some UV light and the notion was that if you or the idea was that if you put it over there it would help cure the disease well that did not happen so let me get a little bit closer here this whole stem all of this here everything is growing actually around from the white light side the high bay to pull this up you can see whatever's left right there has not changed one little bit it's not dead and it is barely growing. Um, it did not improve whatsoever. And I'll also have a bunch of tomatoes down here. I'm gonna let those ripen. So the plan is to use seeds from one of these and also to take clones from this one plant. That way I have uh, two options when I restart this. I don't wanna do this again for a fourth time or a third time, however many times it's been now. Um, but as you can see over here, it's got some nutrient deficiencies because I have not um, done, I have not changed out the solution. I have pretty much just been adding uh, and refilling. That's not the way to do it, but that's just the way I'm doing it because the experiment's botched and it doesn't matter at this point. Um, you see these tomatoes here? They are actually a little bit smaller than the ones that kind of went around to the other side and are down there and they're growing larger, the ones I just showed you. So I don't know, that might be something to note. We'll see when we restart the experiment to, to see if there's any difference. Because obviously, if you want to follow along in the series, go back and watch some of the videos. The plant under the red-blue uh, light side was about the same size as the one in the white light during the vegetative stage, right as they were flowering. They were about the same. The difference was, though, is that the plant under the left side had flimsier stems and I didn't really notice a whole heck of a lot of difference except for the fact that the ones on the white light had seemed like it had more foliage and generally looked a little bit more healthy. So the vegetative stage of the experiment pretty much is done. Um, the, next, the next time I redo this, which will be soon, the whole idea is to kind of more or less look at the, the blooming and the fruiting phase. Um, so what we're looking at is quality, size, and quantity versus both of these lights. That's kind of the idea of this, the whole point of redoing it. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.